Good afternoon, lovely people. This is going to be a quick video of Zach Wright's code where we install or add Markdown Extra to our Markdown parser. Uh, and more specifically, we are going to add Parse Down Extra. As you've seen in a couple of the previous videos, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, go back and check them out if you haven't. Uh, we have opted to use parse down in PHP as our markdown parser. And we want to add the markdown extra syntax on top. And parse down actually has an extension available for that. So we're going to go ahead and just grab that. And I'm going to do this a little bit differently than the way they say it. They basically say to install both parsedown.php and parsedownextra.php, include them both, and then just do a, a new class for parsedown extra. The way I'm going to do it, we're going to grab the latest version. Uh, if we go to tags, we'll have 0 0.8.1. And I'm just going to go right into the parsedownextra.php, hit the raw. We're going to go ahead and copy this. And let's go into our tiny file manager. Go into parse down where we have our parse down PHP. Advanced editor. Get down to the bottom and we're just going to paste this in at the end. So that anytime we include it, parse down extra is available. All right, paste. And actually, we're going to take this a little step further. I'm going to go ahead and actually change this so that any of the code that we've been using already uh, for parse down doesn't need to be changed to utilize this. So we're going to actually call this parse down. So that way, anything that's already calling parse down, uh, we'll basically just grab this and the extra. And we're going to rename extends uh, the base parse down to exactly that base parse down. And uh, one other thing we do have to do because we pasted this in and it's expecting to be in its own file, we do have to remove that PHP there. And then, okay, so we went and renamed the extended parse down to just regular parse down. We're going to rename our base class to base parse down. So let's head to the top of the file here and do just that. Save and refresh. Okay, so we're still getting this. Now let's test some of the extended markdown features. And one of them is this right here where we can have special attributes attached. Uh, so like this will add an ID of header, this will add a class of main, this will add an attribute uh, called lang equals fr, uh, and then we can do multiples if we want. So let's try that. Let's do this in this file right here. And we'll do this get route header, and we'll do hashtag my cool header save. We'll hit refresh, go down to that, inspect, and voila, right there, my cool header. That's it, folks. That is our installation of Markdown Extra. Now, any, any of the syntax that has now become available here for part, uh, Markdown Extra is available. Uh, including definitions, um, tables were available before, but now I guess they're a little more robust. Uh, some extra rules, so check out this website here for the PHP Markdown Extra uh, to learn about the extra rules and syntax that come along with it. Cool, see you guys later.